Happy Friday again, everybody. I just finished my lovely Happy Mail package from Virginia, so you'll see that first because I'm going to upload that one and then this one. But I wanted to do an update video and have it separate from my Happy Mail. Thank you again, Virginia. I just did, I did set up a couple things. I put this Passy clip, and I know it's a Passy clip, but I didn't have, I don't have any boy Passies, and I never put Passies on him for sure. So what I did was I attached the case to it. Um, I did that as a nanny, too. I thought Passy Clips were great toy holders. So, Malachi now has keys, as does little Zipporah. And she's got hers attached to her, too. So sweet. I do have girl Passies, um, but I just used them for toys. And they look so sweet. And I love that they look African. Fabulous. I have to put Zipporah in something that looks African. My next thing to do. Anyway, um... First thing I wanted to mention was, um, oh, i got to get my mind organized here, that um, Susie over at um, Ruby Rose Reborns is having a lovely giveaway. Um, so go check out her channel. I will put a link down below to her giveaway video. And um, she has you, you get to choose between one of several really sweet tea sets and also a book is an option so go check that out Susie's very very sweet she has some very beautiful babies very very kind and generous sweet lady so thank you Susie for the opportunity um, I know I believe the giveaway is running through the month um, but I know I haven't missed the window yet um, ladies I am just gonna have to abandon my watch later I added videos yesterday morning to it and I have over 150 videos in there I just got so behind um, we went out of town for the weekend and it was really really lovely we had a very nice time so I didn't get to watch videos over the weekend and I was already about four or five days behind at that point and um, and then there have been a couple days this week that I just really haven't had much free time um, I, I've just been super busy, so I feel, you know, bad because there's so much I'm probably missing. So this morning I watched a couple videos that were in my watch later. I have not commented yet. I will try to. Um, but I'm just really trying to balance all that. I just haven't seemed to find my rhythm since we've moved. My husband, for the most part, works less hours here, which is fabulous. Um, but my old rhythm in, in Texas was that I would, now prior to reborning, I would watch a video and then, you know, when it would finish, I would pause it and then go leave my comment and leave. Um, but then when I started, um, reborning, I decided, oh, look at the blanket from Katie behind her. Look, Katie, isn't that beautiful? Oh, I just love it. Um, but I decided that, you know, I could, I'm all about multitasking, ladies, so I started um, watching videos while I either crochet or paint or root, which is fabulous because y'all keep me company and I love it. But then in the evening, I would typically stop painting by, you know, 5, 6 o'clock, and then I still had a couple hours. My husband was working 12, 14-hour days. So then I would sit down and go through my history and leave comments. Well, two times this week he's been home by four o'clock and he had Monday off so um, I just am not finding the time to leave comments and I feel really bad because I really enjoy commenting with everybody and communicating with everybody but it's just I just haven't found the rhythm here yet and I've tried to um, in the morning do it but by the time I wake up in the morning my normal morning routine is once I get my husband off I sit down at my computer and I go through my personal emails then I go through my um, Gmail which is mainly business as well as I do have some communication with people on YouTube on there but then I have that's where all my comments and messages from YouTube go and by the time I finish all that, I'm like, i got to get busy. I don't have time then to go comment. I've tried. I've been trying. That's what I've been doing for the past few weeks. But it just gets me further and further behind in the day. So I'm really trying to strike a new balance, and I'm working on that. Um, look, Bijanier is reading the new book from Virginia. She's on the frog page, of course. And then I want to, I've been stalling going over here, because if you all noticed, Abigail's missing. 
Um, it's really funny. Yvonne asked me to put her and Mickey side by side. And it's so funny because when I finished, I always send my husband photos of my babies when I finish them. He sees them first. And when I sent him Mickey's, he said, she looks like Abigail. I said, you're right. Good eye. It's from the same sculptor. And so it's so funny that Yvonne wanted them to see them together. And I had, you know, obviously when you, when a sculptor creates them out of clay, the clay is hardened and then turned into vinyl. So, but it's for some, there's something similar in their face, facial features. And I'm like, hmm, did she take, because their noses look the same to me. And her eyes are narrower. Mickey has narrower eyes. Hers are a little bit more rounded. Hers are a bit more almond shaped. Um, but they do, my husband's like, oh, they're twins. I'm like, well, she has a mommy, just so you know. Um, but he, he thought it was really sweet how much they looked alike. And I agree, they do. I don't know if that's what Yvonne was after, but she did want to see them side by side. So there you go. They are similarly length, although I do think, let me look, I think Mickey, I haven't looked at this yet, I think Mickey has bigger feet, because Abigail has kind of tiny feet, yeah, I think her feet are bigger, but, um, but anyway, it is fun to see them side by side, um, so there you are, Yvonne, and here's little Knox Man for his mommy to see, and then we have to go over here to little Kai Man, Who's back on his tummy. Mommy, he's a tummy sleeper. He sleeps so well on his tummy. He's so cozy when he's on his tummy. Um, so I wanted to share that. <clears throat> um, I also wanted to, I saw um, Yvonne of My Little Tulip did a, a lovely video about a little boy whose name was Jacob and I will put the information, his address down below. He, I can't pronounce what he has, but he's trying to get a record-breaking amount of birthday cards sent to him. And he has a P.O. box. He is located in um, Arizona. And I'll put the link also to Yvonne's video because she shares the news coverage of this little boy. But his birthday is August the 15th, and so um, I am running errands today. I want to pick up a card for him. All, you, all he wants is birthday cards. And I really think it's really great that Yvonne is getting our community to participate in this. And, you know, just bring joy to this little boy who, you know, may not have much longer on this earth. So thank you, Yvonne, for alerting us to that because I think that was probably local news coverage. And it's not something I would have certainly seen where I live. So thank you very much. I love doing stuff like that. Um, but anyway, so as far as what's going on here, again, we had a lovely weekend. And um, I have started painting. I'm just very, very just mottling. I have two kits I've started, so I will begin showing work in progress probably next week. Um, we'll see. Um, oh, I haven't shown these two little nuggets. There they are in all their glory, all their chins. Um, anyway, so um, so I did, but I just started yesterday. I've been doing some um, consulting with a couple of my past families. Uh, I just love that the parents come to me because, you know, I know their children. And but it is taking up a lot of time, but it is um, it is something I enjoy helping them with. Um, it, it, it I do consult for people who have never met their children, but um, it is a little easier if you know the child's individual personality firsthand. But also, you know, I just I just love that I get to stay in their lives. It is a blessing to me, and um, so that's been taking up some time. And then I have to tell y'all. You know, we talked about this recently, about that little inner voice. You know, I say it's the Holy Spirit. You can call it your gut or whatever you want. Sorry, I'm fidgeting with the vine here and I'm just bobbling you guys around. Um, but, you know, we moved in here and I am somebody who, I don't know if ever anybody else does this. Well, I know one person does. Angela does because we've talked about this. I do not use my dishwasher as a dishwasher. To me, it's like the best drain board ever because it doesn't have to be on my counter. I don't have to move it. I hand wash all my dishes, and then every few weeks I do run my dishwasher just because I think from a sanitation standpoint, um, it needs to be run. And so when it got to that point after we'd lived here for a couple weeks, I don't know, something told me don't run it at night. Now, typically, People run their dishwasher when they go to bed. They get up in the morning. They put their dishes away. 
Um, but I don't know, something told me not to do that, and so I never have. I've always run it in the day. Well, I've, since we've lived here, I've probably run it maybe four or five times. And so the other night, the other day, I had done some transplanting. Oh, and the other thing, I leave the door open so that everything can, you know, dry with air and not be, like, sealed up in there. Um, unless I have company, then I close it. But, um, or if it's empty. But anyway, so the other day I was doing some transplanting on the counter above and some, some potting soil fell onto the lid down there because I had slid the, the drawers in, but I left the door open. So, so anyway, I wiped it all off, but to me, I'm like, mm, I still got to run this now because I just feel like, you know, it needs to be run. So it was the very first time I ran it at night. And I got up in the morning. And one thing I don't like about dishwashers is they never dry plastic. You know, I have some Tupperware in there, and you, you just got to let it sit and dry anyway. What's, what is that? Anyway, so I um, got up in the morning, and my normal morning routine after I get up is I um, put a kettle of water on to make tea for my husband to take to work in his thermos, and then I make him oatmeal. That's what he eats for breakfast. And so I put the while well, I put the kettle like under the tap, and while that's filling, I go around and I open all our window blinds and curtains and stuff. And so I did that, and then I carried the kettle over to the stove and I turned the heat on. And then I went to get the pot out for the oatmeal. And then as I walked back to the sink, I felt water. And I looked down, it was just a small area. I mean, I wiped it up with a paper towel and there was still plenty of absorbency left in the paper towel, but I wiped it up and I thought, oh, I must have sloshed some water out of the kettle because ladies, I'll be honest with you, I am not a morning person. It takes me a while to wake up. So, um, so I wiped that up and moved on and anyway, put the pan on for the oatmeal, went to the fridge to open to get milk out. And then I walked away and I felt water again. I'm like, that's weird. So I looked on the floor. We have these beautiful uh, parquet wooden floor. They're so beautiful. And I looked down, I didn't see any water except like my footprint, but no like standing water. I'm like, well, that's weird. So anyway, I poured the milk. I put the milk back in the fridge, walked away again. Sure enough, there it was again, more wet. I'm like, what is going on? So we have a rug in front of our fridge and then a rug in front of the stove and then I have one of those padded like good for you kind of things to stand on in front of my sink. And so I looked, noticed that the one in front of the fridge was darker. So I bent over and sure enough that thing was not only wet ladies, it was dripping. Like I lifted the corner and water was just dripping. I'm like, oh great, here my landlord just replaced my stove last week and now I gotta tell him the fridge is broken. So like everybody else, I opened the fridge, I pulled out the bottom drawers expecting to see standing water down there, nothing. Not even a drop, no water. I'm like, hmm, put everything back in, put my hand under the fridge to feel if the floor is wet, nothing. I'm like, what the heck? So, of course, then I'm like, i got to check under the sink. Now, mind you, in front of the sink, well, the foam thing that I stand on was there, but none of the flooring by the sink was wet, save that little patch I had stepped in earlier thinking it came from the tea kettle. So, I look under the sink, and there's water, but not a lot, like not enough to merit that ton of water that was in that rug. So I pulled everything out from under the sink, dried it, put it up on the counter, dried under the sink, carried the rug, hung it outside so it could drip itself dry, and then I let my husband have his breakfast and then he left and then I mopped the floor. But anyway, when I was under the sink, there's this um, white hose, kind of like accordion-like. Remember those things when we were kids, you'd get them and you'd swing them and they'd go woo, yeah, kind of like that. Anyway. It was no longer attached to the wall. It had come undone. <sighs> Distressing for sure. So my husband's like, well, I can fix that when I get home. So I had everything on the counter, dried everything out under there, and I had picked up the foam, and it was wet underneath there. So I dried all that, dried the floor. Then I got my mop, had to mop the floor, um, did, got everything clean. And of course, I couldn't stand everything on my counter all day, so I put it all back under thinking, well, I'll pull it back out later when he's home because um, this was yesterday. So that was the start of my day yesterday, and I knew I had a couple um, uh, consults to take care of, so I was trying to get all that done, and um, I managed to do that, 
my husband did fix it last night, so I sent a message. But the thing that I'm a little saddened by is that some of the tiles, the um, parquet tiles, are warped a bit. So I did message our landlord and let him know what happened. And I told him that I'm running a heater pointed at them as well as under the sink to try to, you know, I don't want mold to happen, so to dry it out. And he said that one of their past tenants actually had spilled a bunch of water there, and that happened before, and after a few days they went back down. So I'm really praying that happens, because I right, have, right now I have this little peak in front of my sink that I have to straddle. So I don't have my little foam mat there, because I don't want any pressure on it. I don't want to break any of them, because really they're like... I don't know, maybe six inch squares, and then within each one there are like five or six strips. They're beautiful, and then some lay, you know, some lay horizontal, then the next one's um, vertical horizontal. So they're they're just laid beautifully, and so. Um, but all that happened yesterday morning, and then now I feel like I'm melting if I'm anywhere in my kitchen because I have this little heater running in there, and phew, listen, <sighs> I'm like an ice cream cone on a hot summer day. Um, so that's what's going on with my kitchen, ladies. That was my day yesterday. So anyway, then I had to do my, I said I mentioned this in Virginia's video about getting her box in the evening. Our farmer's market is on Thursday evenings from 5 to 8. So if I have errands to run on a Thursday, I save them for the evening. Because I like to be frugal, you know, with my time and a good steward of my time. And I don't want to run out twice if I don't have to. So, um... I had one other errand to run beside the farmer's market, and then I saw I got Virginia's message and so knew I was going to go to the post office. But my husband actually got home before I left, so um, he stayed home and mowed the lawn, and then I ran my errands and went, you know, went to the farmer's market. All I got was strawberries. I got a quart of strawberries. Um, they're, they're quite sweet, but not quite ready for jam yet. So these ones I'm probably just going to like slice up on French toast or... Um, make a lovely ice cream topping or something out of it. But in the next week or two, they should be ready for jam. I'm so excited. I love making strawberry jam. It's my favorite. Homemade strawberry jam is my absolute favorite jam. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to do that next week or the week after. So anyway, so anyway, by the time I got home, it was time for dinner. So that was my yesterday. And then today... I got up, I cleaned my house, I had a little follow-up consultation and um, um, with one of the moms, and there was, oh, that's what I, there's something that happened today I wanted to share. So y'all know I'm, I'm waiting for my moving claim to, to get sorted out. So I actually, I called him on, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday, because I hadn't heard, and he said, um, that they're just waiting to hear back, or I may have already done this. Have I already said this? They were anyway. They were waiting to hear back from the company that actually moved and moved us. And so today, in my email, I had a claim, an offer from them, like a settlement offer. So they have agreed to pay everything I requested for everything except the mattress. They've offered us a cosmetic settlement, which is less than a third of what we paid for our original mattress. So. And there's this whole little paragraph on there about how this is non-negotiable and, um, you know, I have not supposed to sign it and send it in. Well, ladies, nothing in life is non-negotiable. I mean, you know, well, so it never hurts to ask. Let's put it that way. So I called him and spoke with him and I explained to him. You know, I know you haven't seen this, but, you know, this, I, I need a new mattress. It's not something I can cosmetically fix. So anyway, after speaking with him for a good 15, 20 minutes, he um, took down notes, I'm hoping, or at least listened to me. And I was very kind. I didn't lose my patience, which I don't really do. I explained everything to him. And uh, he said he would be talking to his supervisor. Um, I think that's it. You know, if you stay calm and talk kindly to people, if you put them on the defense, um then you end up bantering and losing. So anyway, he's going to speak with his supervisor when she gets back from lunch because they are in a different time zone. They're ahead of us. So um, hopefully I should hear back. He said that he would, um, he said, nope. He said, absolutely, you're right to call us and um, see if you can get a different settlement. And I will present everything to her again. And hopefully I, we can send out another offer later today. So, phew. 
So be praying, ladies, because we need a new mattress, darn it, and they should fund it. So that's what's going on with that. Um, oh, I have to tell y'all, if you didn't see Myra's video about her coconut head, Myra, I was dying laughing. That is so funny. She has this kit that she's struggling with, and I will try to leave comment, but I have to tell you, it was so funny. Listen, I have felt your pain. Um, some of the older kits, and I'm not sure how old that kit is, but some of them do have vinyl that's a little bit more challenging to root than others. Um, so yes, I have felt your pain. You're not alone. Um, but it is best when you are a little frustrated with a kit to put them aside and come back to them. I've done that before too. Um, bless her. Um, but I, I had an idea and I'll, again, I'll try to leave comments, but in case I don't, and you're watching this, cause I know she like listens to me while she paints and stuff. And so I know she'll hear this. Um, but have you thought about sculpting little clay ears for him, that, like on top of his existing ears, to make him bigger ears? That's an idea. Just saying. Um, you know, and you can paint them, you know, match his skin tone and like attach them. Mm hmm, you could. Or even just ear tips. Like, I don't know. I think he needs whole new ears because they were kind of freakishly small. I'll be honest. I saw that when you made that first video and thought, ooh, those are tiny ears. Ears are very important to me. Uh, all the details are, but I have I love ears. So anyway, um, oh, speaking of ears, Mickey got her ears pierced, and she actually can take backings. I don't know if y'all can see. She has little backings back there, which brought me joy, which Abigail, I don't know, Abigail couldn't, mm, no, but her daddy doesn't want her ears pierced, and since it's his baby, I'm sorry, darling, you're the only girl in my nursery without pierced ears, but that makes you special, I suppose. Anyway, so, um, uh, so yes, I was feeling Myra's pain with her coconut baby. And don't let what your husband says get you down, you know. We all have opinions that happens to be his. If you love that kit and love how the baby turned out, oh, just love him. But I think you need to change his name from Coconut Mouseketeer to something else, but... <laughs> Anyway, if y'all haven't watched her video, you're clueless on what I'm talking about, but it's so funny. But, And I've seen several new babies in the community. I saw Mia's video with her new baby. He's gorgeous, Mia. Um, I'm trying to think. There's been several other new babies in the community. Um, I just, I don't want to, i got to stop naming names because I don't want people to feel left out if I don't name them. But, um, but there are several new babies, and I hear several mommies are expecting. And, oh, it's just so exciting. And, um... Let's see, what else have I been? Oh, been praying for Crystal. She's been having a lot of pain, but I'm happy that she got her lupus diagnosis finally. And um, I'm so happy how joyful her Londa is. She's off work for the summer, but she just, you know what? When your life gets thrown like that, where, you know, whether it's a natural disaster or anything in your life, when, when or Connie has lost her dog, you know, when, when things like that happen and your whole world just kind of feels shattered, um, you need time to adjust and refine your center. And, um, I am so happy that her Londa is on this side and has found her joy. Um, because as she said, happiness is a choice, ladies. It really, really is. And I purpose every morning when I wake up, today's going to be a fabulous, joyful, happy day. And that's what it is. So, uh, even when I have water on my floor, <laughs> um, those are just hiccups. I call those hiccups. When little things like that happen, well, we're just having a hiccup. And you know what? They eventually go away and you move on. So, let's see if we can get his face in there. Um, so, anyway, there's just been some great things going on in the community. And, um, oh. I'm just trying to recall what else I've watched. Oh, thank you, Debbie, for putting your twins in the in the Nemo and Dory. That was so funny. <laughs> Talk about a joy bubble. Which, by the way, I'm going to try to get my supplies for making me some joy bubbles. Um, I don't know if I'll get them today because Hobby Lobby is not on my list. But I will get to them, ladies. Um, but Joanne's is on my list. I'm going to see if I can get some more ivy. Um, I need to fill in a couple more little gaps. But I don't want it to become so. I don't know. I don't know if I... Let me step back and look. I mean, I don't know if I mind seeing. I'm not going to be able to cover all of the white for sure. But um, see, there's some little areas like right there and then kind of there. And if I smash up what I have, then it's not as long. So see, even in there, 
there's some little areas I would like to so anyway but Joanne's is on my list I have to go to the grocery where else I need to go to Staples so anyway ladies I do hope everybody had a blessed week and I know I haven't been on I'm you know kind of absent and um, I am going to do try to figure out a new normal for um, commenting and such um, I've been working on it since we moved here but I am I am not doing the best that I can uh, well I am doing the best I can for now but I have not done the best I can in terms of finding a way to be able to comment like I used to um, but I'm gonna work on that ladies um, but there's a lot going on so all good though everything's good we're very very happy um, the other night when my husband got home, we just sat out on the deck for hours and talked. And, um, I said, the only thing I miss from Texas is one of my one friend who lived in my town. Oh, I miss her very, very much. And I wish we had Kroger here. We don't have Kroger here, hmm. but we have hy V, and they do not do good sales like Kroger did. And I'm all about the sales and the coupons and finding good deals and stocking up on things that we love when they're on sale and. Like, they don't even carry the brand of oatmeal here that my husband likes, so I had to order it. I mean, I got free shipping because they're delivering it to the store, but still. Anyway. Um, so, it is what it is, ladies. We all just have to bloom where we're planted, as the saying goes. And that is what we do. We adapt to our situations. So, that's what's going on here. And I think that's a good catch-up. I'm trying to think if there was anything else in my exciting week. So anyway, I'm going to have these little babies tell their mommies hello and goodbye. Now it's goodbye. Little Kai man. I wonder what he dreams about. I tell you what, I never imagined this baby would, oh, that's his tag, that this baby would be a boy, but he's such a beautiful boy. Look at that hand. Oh, he's so sweet. And who else? And oh, I didn't even mention that. Miss Ivy Jane got a passy. She has a pretty good open mouth. It actually goes in quite deeply. But I, the shape of her lips, so this A vent fits her pretty good. I just kind of cut it, and I had to put slits on the side to make it go in. Um, but it doesn't match, so I need to buy her a pink one. But that one looks the best on her, I think. So I'm going to have to find a cute little pink one for her. But she says, hi, Mommy. Wave your beautiful hand to your mommy. Mm, have a good weekend. Let's see, who else? Over here we have Mickey Girl. Mickey Girl says hi to her mommy. And throws a kiss. She's so sweet. And then we have little Knox Man. He's waving already. Look at that wave. He's trying to do a high five, but his little finger is tired. He's so sweet. A little knocks me in. All right, ladies, have a very, very blessed weekend. And again, if there's anything exciting in the community that I need to know about, please comment below. Good news, good news, people. Only good and happy news. Um, otherwise, I am actually going to clear out my watch later history and just kind of start from day one. So forgive me, I know I've missed a bit. As I said, I've got over 150 videos in there, so there's a lot of stuff I've missed. But at this point, you know, I'm never going to catch up. So it's like when I, you know, moved or when I went to the doll show and stuff, you just have to pick a day and say, okay, today I'm starting from today again. And then <sighs> you breathe because, you know, I think about it. I think, oh, I need to go watch videos, but then I really don't have time. So. I just get further and further behind. And I know I'm not alone in this. We all have this. So, because we all have lives beyond YouTube. And, um, and so it is the reality of being a part of a YouTube community. We do all do the best we can. Right, Bichonnier? All right, everybody. Again, have a blessed weekend. Stay safe. Find your joy. And just love the ones you love. Bye-bye.